Hey RM, it's almost, probably almost the end of spring in my movie room. I'm trying to add some VHS this summer when I can and boost up my TV shows. And if I get any money on Christmas, I'll put it towards a TV show. So it's only probably two or three TV shows I still like to get. And the others, I can watch them on Netflix, like Heartland is on Netflix. But I'd like to get that and... Deep Space Nine, I think Star Trek is the only one that I'm going to be trying to get, probably around Christmas time. And then next year I could try to get a little bit more for Atari, or go back into my uh, music. And depends what I see on sale on eBay, so I'm still trying to add some country into my music collection. We stopped with a little bit more TV shows this year. And whatever I could find thrifting, I still need to get couple for Seinfeld, uh, Frasier's complete. I'm waiting for one more to come in. And X-Files probably start on the other season uh, pack pack next year. I don't know, I'm still missing season 3 in my box. So and if I find that thrifting I'll pick it up. And whatever I could pay up on get movies VHS, I'll try to get a couple here and there. We thought we going back into snacks and food. Anything I can find on wood in the garbage, I'll try to get it to build shelving. So I'll probably have to buy some nails. And probably next year, I have to start investing in some tools as well. So there's a lot of stuff I need to get for my woodworking as well. Or I would just end up buying shelves. I don't want to buy shelves because I would have to invest at least a hundred bucks into a shelf. I can make it for about twenty bucks. Buy a box of nails, about ten bucks. But now I have to buy a jigsaw. So I don't know if I could buy a blade for this uh, jigsaw. So the blade that I have it does not hold. It's the wrong blade for it. So. That's the plan to look out for spring summer. I'm trying to add Sega games now, so I should have a Sega on the way. Sega is a lot cheaper than Atari, so there's fewer games on it, but still some good games on it. That's why I wanted to get at least Sega in my collection, but I don't know if I could have done it this year. I'm running a little bit low on snacks because of it. So sometimes if you have to pay up on eBay, you have to even out your snack budget to get something good into your collection or just to rely on whatever thrifting has. I don't go to uh, flea markets or pawn shops that often and I don't get to go to garage sales and a lot of people do go garage sailing but I don't. I don't have a car so unless there's something in my area but usually games that they have Pretty shit, anyway. But people buy out all the crap they have, and you don't get good stuff that way. You just get a bunch of pile of shit from the garage sale. You might get one or two good games out of it. So you can have to eventually pay up on better games. But Blu-ray, I don't do a whole lot. One or two per year, maybe. And I got a little bit of room, but. In a year or two, things will be filled up. That's why I need to get at least one more shelf going. And if I do move from here, I don't know. I'm just talking about moving, but nothing certain yet. So keep eye out for that. Could be a new space next year. Could be still here. I don't really know. So it's so all for now for spring. The goals for my movie room. I got two aisles. And I tried to do at least one poster. I'm not going to bother with printers. I did buy one printer for like 10 15 bucks, but cartridges on ink on that are like 40 bucks, 30 bucks. So don't know if it's worth doing it that way. So I'm going to scrap the idea. Just keep a printer on hand in case I need something printed at home. So. For now, this is everything that I got. All my music, cleaning up a little bit, all my games are here. 
all my games are on this shelf. I'd like to have at least one more shelf like this for electronics in my gaming room, but I don't want to invest my shelving unless I find it in the garbage. Then I could just like fix it up if I have it, a little bit of wood on hand and hopefully in two years try to get back into more Star Wars stuff and maybe even uh, Transformers by then, we'll see. But for now, trying to have a little bit of music here and there, trying to have a little bit more country, and just go from there. So, I'm waiting on one more for Frasier, though one they sent me is not the right one, but if I see it locally, I'll pick it up. So eBay issues like they send you the wrong thing and then you, that's how you're stuck with so you don't always get the right one you're looking for on eBay so the end of this spring look around and you need to put a little box here to raise this shelf up a little taller eventually I'm going to replace this uh, shelf so I cannot change the wood on it this is built in. I was able to cut it down just so I could fit on some movies, but eventually I'm going to have to replace that shelf with one like this. And anytime I find wood, I'll try to pick it up. And I can only put two more shelves here in the middle, and that'll be it for my movie room. Pick up Disney when I can. Thanks for watching.